as appropriate. And I, along with very young boys and girls, or men and women, have a blueprint. A blueprint which we title 730. 730 representing just two years. In two years, if given the opportunity, we we'll turn the economy of this country around. We will solve the insecurity problems. We will bring Nigerians together. The level of distrust in the country today has never been experienced in the history of this country. We gain Nigerians to trust and to be proud Nigerians, as you are aware. I'm a pan Nigerian. I had a very good military background and I've been in politics since 1998 when I won my election into the Senate. I think I have got the credentials and the background to be able to do what I promised my team to do. And I think I do know what the problems are. But I'm sure that this is not where you want to disclose your strategy and tactics for uh, stopping the killing that is going on at the moment. What I can say at this point in time is that it can be stopped if we have the will, the political will to do it. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. My chances are, my chances are in fact, that PDP, which is actually PDP chance against uh, the current government. If you can see what is happening for yourself, I don't think anybody needs to preach that gospel anymore. You, you see it yourself. You can see it, you can perceive it. You can perceive it, you can hear of it. So it's obvious that uh, the next election, PDP presidential candidate will win. My take on the issue of the Electoral Act is that the president should sign it because it is designed to make sure that we have a free, fair, credible, transparent election. And it is based on the experience that we've had over the years. Sir, last question, sir. Uh, with, given your experience uh, in the military, 